morning, Thursday the 6th of August and we're just on the M6 heading out of uh, Cheshire, uh, aiming to be up in the lakes by 10 o'clock. Um, it's Seathwaite we're heading to this week and we're trying to do three more Wainwrights, Great Gable, Kirkfell and on the way back to Seathwaite grabbing Base Brown. Uh, it's just about nine miles and should hopefully take us six and a half, seven hours, all being well, although there's two really steep climbs, so uh, that's going to slow us down considerably. Weather's a bit pants, clouds supposed to be low, so we're not expecting any particularly good views, 60% chance of cloud-free summits, um, but should be relatively dry underfoot, hopefully. Uh, it lashed down last night. <laughs> Yeah. So here we are, Seathwaite Farm, sour milk, sour, mil sour milk gill coming down there in full spate. It's lashing down uh, and I've not got the waterproof back for the, wa for the GoPro by the looks of it. Um, so we'll have to be careful how much filming we do, how often we can get the camera out but... Uh, That's where your trusty little place brought the yeah. waterproof. And use Joe's camera, uh, and hopefully the rain will ease off before too long. So the whole route up is wet like this. And you can see that a bit shallower here, but uh, the steeper you are, the more water coming down, obviously. And I'm in my new boots this week. And it's so nice to just be able to splash through and not worry about getting wet. My other boots would be absolutely saturated by now, feet would be soaking and obviously if they then got cold that would be a problem, particularly for somebody like me with next to no circulation in the feet. Um, so this is just bliss in these at the moment. I went in. Oh dear, it's alright though, I got it on film. So, uh, stay head town, definitely at rush hour, look at all these people. Uh, anyway, we're following this sneak of people up to that ridge and then we go up that ridge line right up into the clouds. And that's Great Gable up there, somewhere. And I fell in again, so I've now got two matching wet feet. Not very good at this walking malarkey. So that's where we've just come from with stay head town. Here's the stretcher box and then the path on up. Chimley over to Scarfell, that's where we've lost everybody. Nobody's going our way up here. So uh, we'll wish them bon voyage. We'll take the path less trodden once again. This is a bit scree like. Are you slip sliding? No? Are you poles helping? Good. Hopefully, and it's a good old slog. We can't be too far off the summit now, fingers crossed, because we're a bit sweaty. Definitely been a good workout. And there's green. <laughs> too easy, Macca, too easy. Great gable. Eight what? Eight nine nine. Hundred and sixteen in the bag. It's very windy up here. But, uh, yep, there we go. There she is, mountain goat, just about to be blown off the top. Great gable. The cloud opened up briefly for a minute. It's uh, just come back in again. Okay, so this is uh, still the summit of Great Gable. We now have to find a path in roughly that direction that will take us down very steeply to the bottom of Kirkfell and then back up again. Brilliant! Uh, so we're, we're going to stop for some lunch but it's too cold and windy up here at the moment so I'll see if we can find some shelter somewhere. So to anyone who comes up on the fells without a map and compass could you tell me which way you would be heading back now? Probably six different paths marked with cairns, cairns randomly scattered about. You can just about make out the odd path. 
bad, you know which direction you're heading. So very quickly we've got a brief glimpse of Kirkvale, which is here, that's our path down there by that little town, two little towns, up that side, right over to the far point over there. Just see Wasdale. To Wastwater. Wasdale Head, the pub. Don't think we'll be nipping down there for a pint today. Bit of a slog back up after that. Go to your left. That's it. Yeah. That is just Slippy, slidey, screen. We've both been on our bums, but luckily there's only we're only going over there and then up the path to Kirkafell, Kirkland, Fell, Kirkfell. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, both been on our bottoms. Sunshine, finally. And we've just come down that pesky scree. It looks nothing. It looks nothing on camera, but. That's taken us an hour to get down off Great Gable. Um, so we now got this view and the sun's come out, the clouds lifted. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? I think we earned it, if I'm being honest. Yeah. So we're gonna have a good 15 minute break, have our lunch, enjoy that view. And of, then we're going up there. Of washed water. There he is, Rick on the Kirk Fell. One one seven. It's nice to have a view from the summit. Well done, Max. Yeah, great view. Look at that. Not too shabby. Nice little three sixty. And then that beast. I still can't believe that we came straight down that. My mother's going to have a heart attack. I'm not sure I'd do it again looking at it now either. But anyway, here we are, top of Kirkfell. Done. Joy, another scrambly descent. So, according to Stato, we've just come down off Kirkfell, down that descent there, which is another bit of a run down a scree, which is good fun, but jelly legs now. And uh, this is Great Gable again. We're now down in the middle of the two. And where these two walkers are here, we've got to head up there, up and then round. And we said we wanted to be here by 4.20 yes. and it is 10 to, 4. 10 to 4. So we've saved half an hour on that, although we'll probably lose that now going up Windy Gap. <laughs> Unless we get a boost of energy from somewhere. Like a speed demon. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some strange noises, people coming down there. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so we've just made a major cock up. Um, we should have turned left when we set off walking from our last stop and it would have brought us down along this path here and then we got up Windy Gap there. Instead we went straight on thinking that we'd be able to tra traverse or contour around but as you can see there's another great big scree field in the way and we're not going to attempt another one of them uh, so we've got to go all the way back down. So we've almost climbed the height of Windy Gap already. I mean, my or we're two thirds of the way down now, so we'd, we'd done it um, if we could have contoured around. But now we've got to go down, probably add 40 minutes back onto our journey, so all the time we gained, we've lost. So we've just had to come down off here because we're numpties, and here's Windy Gap. That red path there is where we're going, and then you go up there to Green Gable, and then we go off over the other side of there for Base Brown. So that's Green Gable. Windy Gap now, and that's Great Gable up there. And last time in the snow, we got uh, just up to that where the crags start, and the path goes around the corner. You couldn't see the path at the time, but that's as far as we got. So uh, I think we were probably only 100 meters off the summit, but uh, we had to turn around, and then we went back down there. Stunning views. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, this scree, walking on this scree is just. For every step forward you take, you slide for halfway back, so you put in one and a half times the effort in, and we're knackered. Here we are again. Ten past five. Ten past five, on top of Green Gable again. 
um, so we've already done this one we thought we'd come and say hello again but it doesn't count on reducing our numbers any and now we just really need to figure out I think we have that must be base brown over there so we're just coming down off Green Gable and this is our route down and uh, what we want to do well what we want to do now is go home <laughs> we're battered absolutely shattered uh, we've been on our feet for seven hours now we've probably still got an hour or two to get back to the car um, however there's one more Wainwright just there in front of us base brown and it would seem daft not to get it when we're this close however tired we are we've just got to push on and do it um, plenty of daylight left the only thing we need to do is get back for Joe's cats that need feeding um, but uh, failing that, we've come up with a compromise, which is uh, unusual for us and unheard of, probably. That's, we're going to give the pint a miss. We can get, we can either do base brown or a pint, and uh, base brown's probably more important to us at this stage. So we'll go and do that. And it's one of them we've actually got to go up and come back, as I just said before. So uh, sadly, we've got to backtrack on ourselves, but uh, We'll give it a crack, see how we get on, but we are both shattered. It's been a real grueler, this um, a lot of ascent and uh, very tricky descent down the scree, which really takes it out of your legs. So we're battered. Well, thank God for that. That's Bayes Brown at 646. Done. Now turn around, we're going home. Oh, done for the day. Just got to get down now. So there we go. Just come down off Bayes Brown to this cairn and now down zigzag path all the way back down fingers crossed it won't take us too long just for the record this walk has killed me I'm absolutely knackered mm. and I've lost my sense of humour now mm. All his fault. My God! <laughs> My heart's pounding. Proper scramble down. And we're still that far away from the car. So that descent down the side of Sour Milk Gill is absolutely brutal. It's so steep. It's soaking wet, it's full on hands on scrambling, back climbing down, just what you need when you've been out for eight, nine hours, whatever we've been, <laughs> we're battered. But we are now back at Seathwaite Farm campsite. Oh, I can't get up. <laughs> and uh, seven, seven minutes to the car. <laughs> so, battered and bruised tired beyond compare but we're back I'll have a look what the stats are quickly and then we'll get on the road oh. so we have been out oh to sit down nine hours 20 for nine hours <laughs> 20 minutes and we've done nine uh, nine point nine one no 9.7 miles so what oh, it's a mile an hour is the best we could average which is uh, a long day. That, that was tough though, Rick. That was... I don't think we've walked on a ridge or the flat all day. It's either been straight up or straight... And literally, that coming down then, I was on my bum. Yeah, that uh, descent down there is so steep. Anyway, we're back. I've sucked my water bladder dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, crack on, let's get home. Right. We'll, uh, are we going to be out next week or are we yeah, done in? We'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> right. Till next time then. Bye.